out, nowhere to go. But Golden Guernsey workers are now being told they may not need to go anywhere. Our Ashley Sears with a glass half full of hope that's being met with a serving of skepticism. It was a blow to everybody that worked there. Tim Books is still trying to get back on his feet. The dairy worker was left without a job last month when Golden Guernsey suddenly closed its doors. We just worked things around and had to cut back on our cost, not to live the way we are used to living. Now the place that he went to work for 20 years could soon be opening its doors again. I'm encouraged going to be able to sell this property. Court appointed trustee Charles Stanzial says he's talking with several potential buyers. We have an opportunity to do some good at the same time as uh, try to uh, help the creditors. Stanzial is still working out details that need court approval. Selling the plant to a dairy operator is a top priority. That might mean giving former employees the opportunity to work again. The idea is to get people back to work as many as possible. It's total uncertainty. While it might seem like an opportunity for some of the more than 100 unemployed workers, Books is not holding his breath. It's not sold yet. It's still sitting empty. We still, they still screwed us. He will continue to move forward with a new job prospect, remaining hopeful things will turn around. I hope the best for everybody. I'm not planning to go back to the dairy at this time. There are no guarantees former employees will be rehired. There are currently a handful of those workers actually inside the Golden Guernsey plant. They are making sure the equipment re remains in good condition, readying it for a potential turnkey sale. Brad. All right, Ashley.